Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, tuongelele. Hii anjansi, nataka, nataka kuambia kitu guys. Kuna hii anjansi yenye inajita Vintmark Travel Anjansi. Sasa, iko hivi guys. Au anjansi, wanapeleka watu kat, mm, ku, uh, UK, Canada, Germany, Finland, na Poland. Sasa guys, I have a friend of mine. Mwenye, sasa mimi si kuwa na mujua. So mtu walikuwa na nichata na nichata na nipigia simu. Mi si kuwa na jua. Kiniambia, ni mtaftie job. Na alikuwa nataka kunipea pesa. Ni mtaftie job. Yani alikuwa nataka kunipea pesa. Yani ya nilipe, ni mtaftie job. Ya driver, ni mwanaume, ni msudanisi. So yeye, ni msudanisi. So amekuwa kinipigia ndio sasa mpaka akafika mpaka Kenya. Na ni kama alijua mali na kaa, juu mali wamechukua hoteli na kaa hapo karibu. So huyo beshte angu, mi zikuwa najua kama kwa serious. Saa hii, after sasa kufika Kenya ndio nilijua kwa serious. So of course, tuka muendea, tuka wakaribisha. Eh? Sasa ndio wakaanza kunielezea. So, mimi nikajika kamua mimi kama The Ivano TV. Kwa sababu, si unajua kama mtu anakujua lazima umishugulikia. Kaniambia na onanga nikishugulikia wasichana, wakienda golf, maybe kama wamekua mauko. Kaniambia pia yeye ni msaidie. So, eh, alikuwa na pesa. Ako na pesa mingi minajua tuwa Sudan. Anakuanga na pesa mingi sana. So, akaniambia nataka job. On Friday, tukaenda tau, tukatafuta, tafuta. Nikajaribu kupigia maanjenzis wale wangu wenye najua wa golf lakini wakaniambia awajui ofisi genuine yenye inapelekanga watu uh, Europe countries juu yeye anataka Europe countries ataki golf countries we tukaenda tukapatana na hii vint mark si mnakumbuka sijui kama nyinyi mnajua talent quest i'm sorry to say this but talent quest imeosha watu talent quest inapeleka watu mpaka Canada Germany UK sijui London my friend, na ukilipa commission, pesa yako hivyo ndo inapotea. Sasa, tukaenda pale Vintmark Travel Agency. Ndiyo, wako na kila kitu, wako registered kwa, kwa, kwa National Employment Authority Company. But guys, guess what? We? Au watu, juu beshte angu huyo msudan, uh, tuliambiwa Poland na... Poland na Finland uko ni 500 half a million commission peke yake. Tukaambiwa UK ni 375 commission peke yake. Tukaambiwa Canada ni 173 commission peke yake. So nikajaribu kuwauliza maswali waka lakini guys niliona ni kama sio watu genuine but guys you can help my friend, kama unajua office genuine enye inaweza peleka mtu Europe countries. Because uh, there is a video, there is a show I did about Skyflash. But hiyo agency wanapeleka tu watu Canada peke yake. Either na sponsor, sponsor, sponsored visa, visit visa, sijui nini. Yeah. Lakini nilisikia hiyo apana. Pia vile tulienda hii Vintmark. Nikasikia apana, nikasikia roo yangu imekataa. Mizi takangi mtu wakipoteza pesa hake guys. Hata kama ni msudan, nilisema afadhali ni mtreat kama mkenya. Yani I have to treat him as a brother to me. You understand? So, tukaenda of course tukaambiwa oo. Oh, O uyo demo akatuambia sisi tunapelekanga watu wengi sana Canada na sisi nikamuuliza mko na ofisi nyingine huko akaniambia hawana ofisi nyingine huko nikamuuliza sasa mnapeleka watu waje na visit visa na mtu anaenda kunini kufanya kazi na mnasema mko na mpaka wa visa sijui whatever ai akaniambia tunapelekanga sijui watu hivyo Sijui ndi, hata sijui aliniambia ndio nini. Nikamuuliza muuliza maswali akaniambia sisi tunapelekana uh, uh, sijui lazima ulipe ticket sijui tu ticket ticket ya kwenda na ticket ya kurudi. 
nikaona hawa watu hawako genuine tena kitu kingine ambayo ilinishock ni ya kwamba hawa watu wanapeleka watu na visit visa hawana ofisi kule na wananiambia ukishafika kule unaenda unatafutiwa job na wenye waliendanga huko kitambo does that make sense nilijaribu kuwaojioji but you guys kama kuna mtu anaweza kuwa ametumia hii ofisi mnaweza tuambia kama ni ku risk ama ni genuine hmm? kwa sababu ukiwaangalia wako wengi tiktok sasa mali niliogopa kabisa kuna wale wanapelekana tu hiyo Canada the same office na 170 wengine 160 wengine 150 nikajiuliza eh hata golf golf mtu wa security hmm? ama driver analipa 150 hapa golf how comes Canada unalipa commission ya 173 Guys, does that make sense? Alafu hakuna ofisi huko. Unaenda na visit visa. Ati anatuambia nini? Ukishaanza process umaliziwe kila kitu. Ati process ina take one week. Ah, mimi nikaona hiyo nayo ni hiyo ai hiyo hapana. So guys, mimi nilikuwa na waomba. Kama mnaweza kuwa mnajua genuine office ya kupeleka ma drivers Europe countries tafadhali let me know don't worry about the commission aya uh, nikapigia Jackson simu na Jackson nikamwambia ongee na wao Jackson aka au mabeshte wangu wa Sudan Jackson akawaongelesha na Jackson akaniambia niangalie claim safiri niangalie CG tukaona mwingine anaitwa Steve Steve, Steve Safaris. So wakaenda nikawatuma huko kwa wakaenda kwa WhatsApp yao wakaambiwa watume nini? Wakaambiwa watume uh, 300 dollars ya application fee. So sijui mnaona aje claim safiri tumtumie pesa za za nini za kum as in claim safiri ata atamsaidia kusafiri akiwa na ule mwingine mwenye anajiita mwenye anajiita Steve Safaris hebu nisaidieni guys uh, au ni ma tiktokers wenye already wako huko Canada yeye yeah, anataka kwenda Canada yeah so guys mi nilikuwa nawaambia hivyo na bado beshte yangu wako hapa Kenya i think wamechukua hiyo hotel for three weeks kwa sababu wanasema wako live yeah wanasema wako live so tunaendelea na kuagojea yeah so oh, sorry guys so let me know guys okay kama mnajua mali ofisi genuine kama ni golf ningekuwa nishawashughulikia ofisi ni mingi zenye zinapelekana Europe hata hiyo Friday tulitembea sana lakini shida ni how genuine are they hiyo ndio shida hata kama unajua vile best yangu atasafiri guys aende tu Europe sana sana Canada Canada ama UK ama Finland ama Poland let me know yeah so bye bye for now guys